Hi! Oh, today, oh, we're going to have so much fun illustrating the stealing eggs story. Remember how the chipmunk stole the eggs and the owl came to get her egg back? And the little mouse was always warning chipmunk not to be stealing eggs. Okay, here we go. I have already divided my paper into the two parts because I'm going to illustrate, of course, the mouse and the chipmunk. I think we'll start with the mouse so first. We'll put the mouse over here looking at the chipmunk who will be here. So, the, let's see, okay, we can see it. Triangle. First, okay, with a big black dot at this end and some whiskers. It almost looks like he has a bug on the end of his nose. Okay. Big ears. Mice have big ears and big eyes. And you'll notice that I put one of the eyes over the triangle, so I gotta take that line out of there. Just erase it away. Oops, I'm gonna change that eye. Okay, I will give him a little mouth. Uh, and you know what? It's just going to be a talking mouth because he's not too happy with the chipmunk. Okay, like we did for before, we are going to make a triangle. We're just not going to put the top of the triangle on. We're just going to leave the top off. And then we are going to put a rectangle down here. The bottom. Cut it in half and give it some little tiny claws. The mouse is going to be sitting on its boopa, and so we've got to give him his back legs. Remember, up, down, out, down, back. Little toes and a line that says, my leg is bent. Okay, here we go again, only on the other side. Up, down, out, down, back. Little toes, line that says, my leg is bent. And of course, we gotta have a long skinny tail on a mouse. Okay, I'm going to leave the eyes again, like I always do, until I get the chipmunk drawn. Now, this is going to be so much fun. I'm hoping you know how to make the number two, because that's how we start out the chipmunk, with a huge... beautiful number two. Okay, and then from there we kind of, we start right here and we're going to make a wave. It's going to come up, go down a little bit and come back up. And up here, we are going to take the top of the wave and just come over and meet where the bottom of the wave was. And that's going to be the head. And of course, the beautiful part of the two is going to be the tail. Okay. So then what we need to do is we need to bring this back to there so that we can create the body. 
We'll just put a tiny little foot out here that she's sitting on. And we need another number two. We'll put it right here. And that's its back leg all curled up, just like this one's curled. And we'll put a little mark right there so that it can show that that's the back of that leg. Okay, let's give her a beautiful eye, a little nose, some whiskers, tiny ones. Okay, now <clears throat> let's finish off this beautiful tail. We'll just come start at the end and we're going to come all the way down to here and you can make that tail as big and fluffy as you want to. But you've got to put a white stripe in it. So we'll just come along and make a stripe in the tail. And then color in the rest of it. There. And of course, when you are making yours, you can color it in as much as you want. You know what? They also have a beautiful white stripe down their back. So we need to do that, too. So, we need to put a stripe there. You can make her a, a beautiful color brown. It'll be easier than me having the black on the black. And we need one on her head. So starting here at her eye, give her a stripe. And... Oh, she's gonna have some ears. Their ears are kind of pointy. Probably put some hairs in there, too. Okay. Chipmunk has to look at the mouse, and the mouse has to look at the chipmunk. So, of course, I'll put her looking that way, and I'll have to put the mouse looking down a little way. There we go. And I would say that let's get rid of our little line here and we'll just put some little eggs in between them. And they're having a discussion as to what should happen next. Thankfully, she learned not to steal any more leg eggs before she got herself in big, big trouble. Thank you.